menu reader. Off. Press left trigger to toggle.
That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. 
<laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait! We do You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why.
far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Now, it's just ahead. Steady yourself! Here. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place.
Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see it. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello?
can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. You uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That 
was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Rebellion. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Test. Okay. For some reason, my gate wasn't working. My my noise gate was being funky. Revelio. How's it going? towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm mm -hmm. fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Hi, my name is Salad. <laughs> I think he's talking to you. Hi. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Rebellion. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos.
score. All right. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. I strangely put that in the right spot. Potato. Potato. <laughs> 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 but he sounded like he said potato. <laughs> potato. Continuing to just hit them. Potato! Uh, oh yeah. Nice try. Buddy. Stay close! I gotta find that clip and put that on TikTok. Potato! Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? Red. This isn't good. Um... Lumos. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, maybe follow the spark. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. What? That's where they're leading me. That Best girl magic again. potato? Yes. Uh, potato. Oh, wrong one. Oh, wait. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Uh, Lumos. This is interesting. Ooh. I got more gold. Revelio. Is there like a sprint? I need to align these statues with their reflections. The knob. Oh. Lumos. Oh, I lost that one. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh shit! No. Potato! Potato! Oh, there's a jump! Stupid one! What the hell are you stupid one? Stupid one. Stupid one. 
Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Rebellion. Oh, I think it's just background. Why is my eyes all? Why am I? I'm just going to. Revelio. floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Just willy-nilly, just, okay. Anthrax, no? Okay. He didn't, he didn't know. He's like, I wonder. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not Jesus be Percival. enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, yes. with yeah, knowledge no. others will do <laughs> anything cool to obtain. They made a Lord of the Rings game. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual the wizard the who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that Return knowledge of the king for the game and the responsibility that accompanies it. Mm -hmm. We've done all that we can. No, like That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it I did a moment my ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Have fun. Who were they? I don't know. But sir, like you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. 
And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have to... I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. We literally didn't mm. find anything. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> 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 Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. Never really watched He seemed that. wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. Oh. We have a Maybe sorting ceremony like to get to. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first oh, wait, I must contact locket? the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the, the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? So I believe I can have either the sorting hat actually put me in the class or I can pick. I don't know what I should do. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Is that a thing? No. 
Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were can barely hear him. Like, complications. Complications? It His seems the goblin enough. problem has... Is goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly rumors. losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. I'm a big fan of his family member. I'm so serious. <laughs> I want to be Professor Harry. Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just Same in time. Easily. Have a Same seat. Much? Dad. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Well, yeah. They both sound intriguing. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, what is it? A sense of loyalty? <gasps> I believe Aww. myself to be a true friend. I know I value that trait in others. Mm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Huh? No. Oh. What's that? Dear? They're yellow. Jack and... I'm, I'm eventually going to play all... Possess a willingness to forge ahead alone when you must. Better be Gryffindor! Now it kind of makes sense. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's like not as though I've banned season. flying altogether. Huh? But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before yeah. classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. <laughs> fucking leave. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor mm. to show you to your common room. Mm -hmm. Right this way. Mm. 
It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. Oh. You were a oh. Gryffindor. I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Thank you, fat lady. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Revelio. First spell into the house. Give me your secrets. Now, which way is the common room? Technically found the common Rebellion. room. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. There's locked chests. Must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Um. To try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. She's her aunt. Or he's her aunt. Yeah, she's his aunt. Okay. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. I will to try it. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well... As I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Mm, nice well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Oh, I thought it was 
Awkward. Shame you weren't born with wings, then. I'm sure you That is so cool. I hope a professor catches it this time. Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Uh, yeah. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! You're and Australian? also Jeez. terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Uh, what are people saying about my travels here? What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I take it you're not afraid of heights? Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. She's cool. And she's back up there. All right. Can we open up this chest? House chest. Ooh. Oh, what did I do wrong this time? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Cressida Bloom. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that your Professor Fig's protege? I studied with him. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. I'm sure you'll get it. Don't worry, you'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> nice. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. I really like her name. New Gryffindor. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Okay. Good morning. 
I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Uh -oh. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! Aha! The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it. And we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. Can I have headwear? Ooh. Okay, I just got go right. Okay. Uh, almost 200 gold. Yeah, I don't like that scar. Clever. Uh, neckwear. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. Ah, you should be more careful. Ooh, there's a chest up here, lady. Oh, <gasps> Kitty. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Cat gets two pets.
Sorry. Not really. But sorry. No time to waste. You have classes to attend. Are we just going to just walk slowly? This is slower than an NPC walk. Yeah. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. Thanks. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Ooh, paper. Ooh, paper. Can I... You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thanks. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, yep. Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Yeah. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. 
Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, oh, Professor. Rude. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Uh, open map. Uh, okay. Unlocked by spells or level requirements. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay. Revelio. Yeah. Oh, but... soul. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Wow. To the wise, age matters very little. 
Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Proet? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. I'm already liking this teacher. <laughs> Levioso. Right. Now, let's try something a little larger. Yeah. Oh, I get to try it? Fancy me. I get to go first. Great. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. Well, I this I'm time, for it. cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso. Now, the big well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Potato. This should be easy. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a... If only all of my students were this adept. Potato! Potato! Levioso! Complicates things. I do enjoy a lively duel. I know, right? Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> <laughs> And that guy's like, <laughs> I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank Suck you, it. Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. All right. That's enough Levioso. practical for one day. Class is dismissed. I can't just pick up random people. Uh. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the Why way, nice? didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. A second-hand again, wand. Perhaps this wasn't your Sir. first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know. You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Hmm. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. 
knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. All right. Till next time. your first class. Alright. Is there like an FOV field of view? I feel like no. I feel like I'm too close to my Freaking close to my guy. That's something to get used to. Give me. You're not as pretty as the first one, but you'll still get pets. Your name better be Cheddar. Because it's orange. Rebellion. I know. Ooh. Ooh. Let me just picking up some monies. Ah. Um. I didn't see. Look at your talking mirror. Whatever it is, they'll all want to know your secrets. Let me also. <gasps> Can I Levioso the cat? Mm, damn. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be with you. This is a locked chest. I uh, don't have. Yep. Rude. It's my uh, waypoint. And you just press up uh, on the D-pad. You have to select to this one. We sometimes so you have, have to. Since when should it matter what Some anyone of us don't like. necessarily want him to get back yeah. to the lesson. Oh. Wonder if each class has a different waypoint thing. 
here. You know, Hufflepuff, ha Behind ha Hobbit. you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page Here's 517. Five. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? I'm new. I got an excuse. Mm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of Lisa. review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Why are we further? Accio. Accio. So cool. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all okay. seem to have the <laughs> basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Hmm. Ah, I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Of course. Hmm? Eh? 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 <laughs> Just makes random noises. So, so far, my very favorite. simply cast Akio on one Akio. of the spears and relinquish. Very good. Stay focused. Now oh. uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marble, excellent control there. Not to worry. That's it. Too fast. Too fast. Stop. 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 <coughs> Stop. <laughs> Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. You're going down. Yes, Did she slam on the brakes? What the fuck? Yes. <laughs> Fine. Akio. 
Too much, too much, too much. Stop. Get out of my way. I'm looking. Very good. What's the circuit? What is this shit? That is how it's done. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hit it. Oh. Well done. Here we go. That's awkward. I'm trying to knock hers off. Hey. Phew. Excellent control there. Fuck, we're tied. I was seeing if I can knock hers off to be able to take the points away. Let us make this a bit more interesting, huh? shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Be sharp. Mm. Yes! Akio. Talk. Happens to the best of us. Let us see this. Done. Right. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh god. Oh god, no. Keep trying. Watch this. Both of you, well done. Tutorial. Hmm? Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. Transfer. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle, like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Cool. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Oh. Huh. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. 
Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not How could keep you him tell? waiting. You're pacing Until away from time. him. Of course, you can. A word, heal if you humans. would. If you wanted so to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well. An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Right. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Hmm. Revelio. Always wondered what the other house's common room smelled like. Oh, it was best, of course. And then the werewolves. What are you up to now? The goblins, werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> Oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Pete. Accurate. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Pete to smack. She says it's a boot and he says it's a flack. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Uh, and you're I gotta do wrong math. Anyway. Shut so up! Jesus! I'm boot, trying to do math here. Black, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black!
I've taken to studying during the day in our dorm. No one's there and I can practice my craft. Thank you. You said side quests are available. You can't imagine no how inconvenient. Move. Rebellion. Hmm. In we go. Whee! Huh? Oh, not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice your mole? As long as oh, geez, that guy is... week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Let me also. He tried to stop me. I can Carp sought to trap me, it's confined annoying. inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment jar. Yeah. So I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. Rebellion. Levioso. Accio. Hmm. What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Let me open. I'll take that. Thank you. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Kind of knocked him off a table. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Yeah. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Yeah. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! I'm gonna remember my shit. We'll make you regret signing up. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Right, okay. Let me Lumos. Akio. 
Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could yeah. be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. What did I win? Hope to see you back here again. Okay, but what was my reward? Thank you. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll go talk to um, Professor Weasley. No, need a monk pick or a spell. What's that? Oh, I did level up though. I'm level three now. Dots, you're saying? but so let me go through. I thought it was a goose. Nice. Oh, let me out. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, <laughs> Excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Uh, no. Nothing more, Professor. I see. 
like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. What? Where's my phone? It's not my headphones? Oh. That is true. Uh... Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Ooh, for just for me? There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him oh. nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Creep. I'm going to choose Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butter beer at the Three Broomsticks. Thanks. Kitty! We can't pet this kitty. A different kitty. Ooh, that one's pretty. Is it raining? Well, no, I see. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. Okay. I have arranged some for today. 
See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. I like how it shows like a little hologram of it. This is the right area. I wonder where the flowing page is. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary tasks were. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. I like the way that it uh That's it. You, Very yeah. good. Repair. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. He did it. Alright, so now I gotta go and... I'm really kidding about leveling up. Revelio. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it'd be one, so it should be the little dude. Um, it should be that one. And eleven and Three is fourteen. So seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven should be the little gecko. Does it teach you?
Because if I go from one... So is this... Uh, I'm counting this as one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is ten. Nine, eight, and six. So that should be a one. And eleven plus three is fourteen. Should be seven, which is the gecko. But that doesn't show the gecko. Oh wait, I did it wrong. But I don't think it has the little guy on this one. Which is up there. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, K E D. That's what I was trying to spell. Possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello, I, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello, I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's hmm. something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. What did she say? Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating. Levioso. The mystery. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. That Buddha. It's always so exciting to see the owls. Revelio. I do get nervous when the owls fly into right. the tree. So we look for Fat Buddha. Fat Buddha. Is that? I don't think that's Fat Buddha. All right. Oh wait, it's literally telling me where to go. 
You shouldn't get so upset. Fat Buddha. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Levioso. Accio. Protego. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Ah, clever. Oh, shit. Yes. Hurry up, poor moth. Was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Oh, she's up there now. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? <laughs> Suck it, because I'm a Gryffindor. I'm not talent now. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. But pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! I can't wait till all my sisters are at home. Down. I really have made a mess of things. I like her name. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. Like and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that, and now I've taken that? to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow, I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Ah, oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Army spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them oh and bring them to me, I I'm can remove the charm. Diary. Should have said anything. Uh, but no, we're not doing that. I want to go to Hogsmeade. You see the one on TikTok where the one just destroys the other one? If it seems so great. Like yeah, he roams around my. Hello. Uh, Looking for me? Yeah, in a minute. I just found. Rebellion. Flattened on.
Why doesn't it show up on my gear thing? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Well, really? I, uh... Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a Butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Butterbeer is just butterscotch, right? Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient ruins. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Oh, interesting. Rebellion. Look, from the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder oh, if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already made. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. Mm. I think they're calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. Can you see the waterfall out in the distance? I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become Yay. something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will I'm for you too. Oh, 
unfortunate the school's so close to Hoxton. Sorry, I saw a cat. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dougley and Airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon, a Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. You are free to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Materials Thank you. you can pick up, that's cool. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. All right. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Let's get my new wand. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, 
Give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. <laughs> Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. An elder wood type, unicorn hair, pliant, ten and a half inch. Intriguing. I'll keep the Ah Phoenix feather. Exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. The only thing I changed was the uh, core type. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Ten and three quarter inches. Uh, it was it was a unicorn, but I changed it to a phoenix. But it's an elder. Akio, let me also. I darkened the wood too. Akio, repairer. Lumos. But that's where I'm going to leave it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the follow button up above, down below, or my socials. Go follow me there. If you missed any of my past live streams, they are on my YouTube channel. Link is down below. And I will catch you guys tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, for more Hogwarts Legacy. See you then. Bye.